This tutorial describes the minimum configuration of the EPOS4 positioning controller. The setup is for a brushed DC motor with incremental encoder feedback. With the startup wizard from the EPOS Studio, you can configure the EPOS4 positioning controller in just a few steps. The startup wizard is a guided dialog application for the initial configuration of the EPOS4 system parameters as well as for adjusting existing configurations. During navigation through the wizard, configuration errors are pointed out. Only valid values can be stored on the controller at the end of the configuration. Open the hardware reference document and go to Chapter 5 Wiring. The illustrations show the most common and important wiring combinations. Depending on the system requirements and product configuration, the wiring and the hardware may vary. In our example, we wire the controller with the motor, the encoder and the power supply as shown here. Please note, turn on the power supply only after wiring correctly. Connect the EPOS4 positioning controller to your computer by means of the USB cable. Open the EPOS Studio and create a new project as described in the respective video tutorial. Double-click on the Startup button in the Wizards window to start the Startup Wizard. Read the safety instructions and confirm by selecting the checkbox. Press Next. Enter the motor type and the motor characteristics. Consult the Maxon catalog or the datasheet for the motor data. Select the motor type. Maxon DC motor stands for the brushed DC motor used in our case. Enter the nominal current and the thermal time constant of the winding. Press F1 for detailed parameter description. Press Next. Enter the sensor data for the connected sensors. Select Digital Incremental Encoder 1, a sensor type that is plugged onto connector X5 on the EPOS4 device. Enter the encoder resolution in counts per turn. Next. Select the control loop structures for current, velocity and position and the main sensor. In our case, we use the digital incremental encoder 1 as main sensor. Press Next. Enter the drive system operating limits. Consider the component with the lowest maximum value. The maximum continuous current displayed here stems from the nominal motor current entered in the motor settings. In our case, we enter the values from the datasheet. Press F1 for detailed parameter description. Press Next. Define the behavior of the device control. Enter the state machine behavior actions and the standstill window limits. Press Next. Enter the digital input functionalities and characteristics. Next. Enter the digital output functionalities and characteristics. Press Finish. The complete system is configured and it is ready for the controller tuning. Tuning is described in separate video tutorials.